Dad and I left Blood Edward Island together. Two years have passed since then. I had just turned 14 at the time. I was so happy to get to live with Dad. But it didn't turn out to be so simple. Dad bailed as soon as I started high school. He went to work as a scientist at this place called J.C. Valley. I'll come home on the weekends. That's what he said right before leaving for Lake Juliet. But eventually, he stopped coming home. Now I haven't seen him in six months. Come to Lake Juliet for a camping trip. It was so sudden. Like, I have a life too, right? I already have my own plans. But I was worried about him. Finally here. And Dad isn't. Oh, right. Jessica wanted me to check in. My phone... It's in my bag. Oh. Hey! Thief! Give me back my bag! Lost him. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have come. This completely sucks. My bag's been stolen. My whole life was in that bag. My wallet, my cell phone. I can't even get a hold of Dad now. My band's songbook was in there too. And... Oh, that kid definitely went through it by now. He's probably laughing at me for carrying a teddy bear around. <sighs> Unluckiest girl in the <gasps> Mom's pendant! Oh, <sighs> I'm so glad I'm wearing it. This pendant. It's all I have for Mom. I guess it isn't the only thing I have left on me. 
the DAS Dad sent me. Why did he send it? Ugh, just looking at this thing, it reminds me of him. It's only making me angrier. You're more important to your dad than you realize. I told him when you'll be arriving. He'll pick you up at the bus stop. Oh, Jessica. Dad, dad. I'm over this. I no way am I camping. I'm getting on the next bus and going home. Oh. I guess I can't. My wallet is in my bag. Which means I need to see Dad if I want to go home. Oh. Okay. I'll go find Dad at the campsite. And I'll get the money I need to get out of here. And that kid... If I run into him, I'm getting my bag back. Maybe Dad will be at the campsite. There, all d Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, hello there. Oh, um... Now that's some spirit. What can I do for you? Could you point me toward the guest house? Of course. The guest house is the white building, just over there. Thanks. Hey, sp Huh? Sure? Thanks. Hello? There's no one here. What is this music? Does this place have its own theme song or- Okay, this is not my jam. Hey, so... Huh? 
Pretty.
Have you stopped by the guest house? Yeah, but it was empty. That's strange. It shouldn't be. He must have been taking another one of his... Who? There's a student working at the guest house part-time. Not the hardest worker I've ever seen. Takes a lot. Huh. I'm sure he'll be back soon. I guess I'll try again then. Good plan. <sighs> First my bag stolen, now the guest... It's just one thing after another. Is something... I'm Dan Maxwell, a forest ranger. Oh, cool. Like a... Uh, one of my jobs is to help folks. Call me Dan. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. Well, hi there, Ashley. Mind telling me what... Someone stole my bag. What? That's terrible. I was at the bus stop and a boy snuck up behind me. He snatched my bag and ran off. A boy, you say? I'd just gotten off the bus, too. I see. Can you describe the stolen bag? Well, it's a blue backpack about this big. Thanks. Got it. I'll keep my eyes out for the boy and your bag when I'm on patrol. Thank you so much. Just in case, I'd like you to file a theft report at the guest house. You should tell your parents about it, too, if you haven't yet. Are they here with you? Dad's at the campsite. Ooh. That's a relief to hear. You must be shaken, but I hope you can relax once you meet up with your... If he was remotely normal, then yeah. I bet that kid is back from his break by now. Why don't you try the guest house again? Yeah, okay. That's a uh... Hmm. You like a customer? I've been asking for help, but you must not have. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry. What were you doing back there? Writing my music. Really? Yeah, I was on my break. But now we got a customer, so break time's over, I guess. Hello there. Welcome to Lake Julie. Back on the clock now, huh? I'm Tommy Harrison, guest house chief of staff. Chief, I heard you worked here part time. Where'd you hear that? Dan the Forest Ranger told me about you. Said you're a bit of a slacker. Implied you take a lot of. Aw, oh, man, <laughs> you really said that? It's that song. Nah, I get it. Right? It's such an earworm. It makes it so hard to. So, what can I do for you? I'd like to check in for the campsite. Okie doke, just a sec. Take this form and sign your name. 
Ashley, Ms. Ashley? Oh, you must be Dr. He said you were coming. He asked me to help you out. He asked you to help me instead of coming himself? Here you go. Use this key card to get... We keep the entrance gate locked, but this will get you through. Do you have any bags? Or do you just like to travel light? I had a bag, but some kid stole it. Are you serious? <sighs> oh, right. Dan told me I should file a theft report. Can I do that now? Sure thing. Here's the form. Fill it out, and I'll give it to the police. Good. I'll take it from here. Thanks, Tommy. Man, there's been a lot of weird stuff going on lately. Earlier you said you were writing a song. Yeah. yeah I write the songs for my band. Cool. First I come up with the melody and the chord progression, and then we work on the song together as a band. Wow. I could talk your ear off about this stuff all day. When I get going, my boss says I should put the same effort into my work. What other weird stuff has been going on? Nothing all that major. Just all, like three days ago, some food went missing from storage. Then today, your bag got stolen. Not to mention this shady guy in a black suit checking in alone. Huh, that guy did not look ready to camp. Hope he's not here to cause any trouble. Is this place date? Nah, not really. It's just a quiet... I've worked here for three years with no problems. You've been doing this a long time. I'm buds with the owner. Let's me work between college semesters. But I'm graduating this year, so this is my last season. Okay, you're good to go. Enjoy Lake Juliet. Thanks. Oh yeah, this is your first time here, right? Yep. Then you should check out the shop. We got refreshments, some souvenirs... A rock? It's cooler than it sounds. Take a pitch. Oh, and there's a sale. All the stuff on that shelf? Nice. Too bad I don't. No worries. You don't need cash. Just use the card I gave you. You can use it to shop. Yep, the card keeps track. And I bet yours will be paid for by your... My dad? I might have to do some shopping then. Thanks. Just a short 
short stones throw. Come on down to Lake Juliet. Thanks. go. Thanks. Oh. What's up? Oh, hey. Hmm. Phone's ringing. Can you hold on a Hello? Hey, it's me. What's up? Listen, can you... Not now, I'm on the clock. Come on, just for a while. Okay, okay, I'll swing by later if I have time. A friend of mine is asking me to hang out at the campsite. Same place you're staying. Are you going? Maybe. Oh? You probably need to know where you're going. Just go through the gate and take her right at the fort. Through the gate, then right. That's it. Yeah. Just a short stone throw. Come on down to Lake memory of mom just came out of I guess there are people around Hmm. 
Ashley. Pardon me. Here. Thanks. Ashley. Pardon me. Here. Thanks. veggies and I'll cut them. Is this good? This, Richard? Yeah, that's it. Put it over there, will you? Oh. Dad. Ashley! Forgot to pick me. Huh? Don't forget to pick up your daughter, Richard. Oh, shoot. What's wrong? Are you tired from the. No. Isn't it obvious? Oh, of course. If your tummy hurts, the bathroom's right over there. That's not it. Dad, look at me. Can't you tell I'm missing something? Oh, you forgot your bag. No, I didn't forget any. Someone stole my bag as soon as I got off the bus. W what? Was the DAS in the bag? No, I keep it in my pouch. Oh, good. I'm glad it's. You're glad the DAS is safe. But it's fine that I lost literally everything else. No, I, I mean. I filed a theft report. That's the right way to handle it. Well, I think I was about your age when I filed my first theft report. Are you serious? Oh, uh... Ugh. Uh, let me introduce you to everyone. Uh, he's avoiding a fight. Ashley, come on over. Over there is Rex, the director. That's Sophia next to him. Beside her is Gina and Ian. And that leaves, hmm, Rex's daughter Elizabeth and her friend Janet, but I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. No way I'm going to remember all this. Oh, I've got to prep the grill. Oh, hold on a sec. What am I supposed to- Go say hi. Everyone's really nice. Are you kidding me?
Ah. How are you? Rex. Yes. Hmm. Has anyone seen it? That's strange. It should have been delivered by now. But I can't find it anywhere. Hello? Dad? This is no good. We can't start the cookout without it. I can't do this. What to do? What to do? Ugh. Huh? Can you give me money for the bus fare home? Jessica said I could ask you. Of course. I'll buy your ticket when you leave. Can you give me the cash now? I need to go home. What? I was looking forward to spending time with you. With me? Yeah. Don't you at least want to have a cookout? There's nothing fun about a cookout with total stranger. I could be at home practicing guitar or something, but instead I'm at some lame cookout. You play guitar? Yes. I'm in a band with friends who I... I had no idea. Oh, surprising. You know nothing about me. I have interests that are just as important to me as your research is to you. My music is the most important thing in my life right now. Ashley. I'm for real, you know. My band is going to get signed one day. Why haven't you told me about all this before? I've wanted to, but you're never home. <sighs> I'm just no good as a dad, huh? I don't know the first thing about you. I feel the same about you. Why did you invite me to come camping, of all things? Ashley, I asked you to come here because... Because I wanted to show you Lake Juliet one more time. What? You must not remember. Your mother brought you here once, when you were little. Mom brought me here? She did. This place was special to us. That's where I proposed to her. I had no idea. As for why I took a job here at JC Valley, it's because of Judd Fitzgerald. He's the founder of the lab. And he was your mother's mentor when she first started her research into memory. So I, I decided to work here because of the connection to her. Dad. Kind of a low blow, Dad. What am I supposed to say when you bring up Mom like that? That must be why. Why what? I might remember a few things about my trip here with Mom. Really? I remembered walking with her when I saw the gate. <laughs> Impressive. That was 13 years ago. Well, I only remembered a Will you tell me if you remember anything else? Yeah. I want to know why your mother came to this place and why she brought you. She came here without telling you? She did. I need to find out why she was here. Because if I do, I think it will reveal the truth behind her death. This is the first time in two years I've talked to Dad about Mom. I haven't seen him look so serious in... There's something I want you to have. What is it? Your mother left it at JC Valley. This was Mom's bracelet? Yeah. So I want you to hang on to it. R A Huh? Whoa, hang on. What is this? Huh? Does it have some sort of Could she have configured this for Ashley? What the I can't take it off. What?
That's completely locked. But why? We won't be able to remove it here. Dr. Robbins. What is it, Gina? We can't find the charcoal. Oh, right. Everyone's waiting, Doctor. We're ready to eat. Right. About that. Tommy hasn't delivered it. I guess I'll have to go pick it up. Guest house, Tommy? Bet he's slacking off. He probably forgot all about. I'll go get the charcoal. Are you sure? I'm the reliable one. Remember? It's fine. Go be with your friend. I'll be right back. Well... Tommy, you're missing an app. Maybe he's in the back. Was that a dog? There it is again. Back here? Come to where the birds sing too. Dance away your cares, shake them loose. Come one and come on. What are you doing? Ah! You're the kid who stole my bag! Ugh. The brass lit up. What's it doing? Ah! It's coming from the DAS. The RAS is responding to this device, there, and then the DAS respond. Oh? Ah. Where'd he go? Huh. Huh.
Oh! fit through this gap. I should be able to get through here too. Huh? It's a watch. Did the... To my dear son, Matthew. Matthew. Ashley! What are you doing out here? Tommy! Just trying to get through the hole in the fa- Wait. What? Did you break into the storage room? What? Uh, okay. Just tell me how you got in there. I- The door was locked. I shouldn't admit to opening the door myself. It was, um, open when I got here. Ashley, sir- It was! On it! We didn't get the charcoal delivery, so I came to pick it up. I was waiting for you when I heard a sound from the back. I went inside and saw the back door open. Someone's been eating the inventory. Was it you? Excuse you? I'm no thief. Then who was it? Probably the boy who escaped through that fence. What boy? Where is he? He ran off. Sure he did. Do you have any proof? Tommy! Huh? There. Hmm. What? Oh! Hmm. Hmm. 
Tommy! Huh? There. Hmm. Hey! What is it? Hmm? There. Yeah. But... Got it. So you finally believe I'm innocent in all this? Yeah, okay. I should have listened to you. <sighs> How do you think the kid got in? The door was definitely locked. Can I just get that charcoal? My dad sent me for it. Oh yeah, I totally Called it. I can take it over. Everyone's waiting. That'd be great. Thanks. I'll grab it. Go ahead and wait by the counter. Is that everything? Yep. As ordered. Need any help? I've got it. I'll let you get back to work. Break time's over, I guess. I know it'll be hard, but really... Hey, now. Later, Tommy. Come to where the sky is blue. Come to where the birds sing too. Dance away your cares, shake them loose. Ashley, come wait up. Yeah? I really should be the one to drop it off. Let me grab it. I also want to apologize to Dr. Robbins for the trouble. Sure. I'll carry it. Let's go. Okay. Where is he? Ashley, right? I'm Ian Tyler, a colleague of Dr. Robbins. He asked me to give you a message. He had to go deal with an emergency. I offered to go instead, since you're here and he said it had to be him. Seriously? I have to say, Dr. Robbins is very dedicated. He was so focused on preparing for this trip and now he'll miss lunch because he's run off to fix... I've never met anyone so willing to drop everything and... His dedication aside, who could walk away from a feast like this? He must be perpetual. Hi, Ashley. I'm Gina Barnes. Dr. Robin said you're welcome to his chair. So let's have a good time. 
Okay. I'll leave the charcoal here. Thanks. Tommy! Over here! Yo! It's those girls. So, about the band contest. Contest? We still haven't found the music plan. Seriously? We'll re-record it. Change it up with a new song, maybe? That'll never work. That was our best performance. Well, we can't just throw away our chance. Ugh. So those two are in Tommy's band. Your food is ready, Sophia. Oh, I'm all right. I already ate. I'll take it, Director. Ian, grab the salt. I knew it would be like this. I would have gone to band practice instead. <sighs> Hello. You must be Ashley. Uh-huh. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Ryan Gray. I work with Dr. Robbins. Do you have time to chat? This guy... Have I... met him somewhere before? <laughs> 